Hello and welcome to a Physionic video, or welcome back to a Physionic video. Today we will be discussing bioelectrical impedance analysis. So the whole, the thing that you hold in your hands is one example of that, the thing that gives you your body fat percentage. That's one of the examples we're going to be talking about. So what about it? We are going to discuss how exactly it functions. So, if that's what you're here to find out, then in a short, sweet, science-based video, we will answer that question. Let's get to it. So, how does it work? Well, it comes down to electricity. Yes, electricity. So, what we do is when, let's say, let's just take, for example, the handheld method, which there are various methods, but the one that we're going to be discussing, just even though this applies to all of them, uh, we'll talk about the one that you hold in your hands, kind of outstretched like this. You have a device, right, and you hold it. That sends an electrical impulse throughout your body, but it depends on where it's located. So, if you have it attached to your foot, and it also measures up to your hand, then it'll measure that distance, that measure of your body. The handheld one, however, tends to send an electrical signal down your hand, down your hand, across your chest, and then back to the other side. So it's kind of a closed circuit then. So it sends a very weak, non-dangerous, anything electrical signal down. And then what it does is, we're able to measure, the device is then able to measure how much resistance there is to that electrical signal, that conductance down uh, to the other side. And the way that it's able to measure that is by water. So the more water that you have in your system, the faster that it's gonna go because water conducts electricity very well. But what does water have to do with measurement? Uh, and our body in general. Well, we know that obviously our body's primarily made up of water, but what compartments are made up primarily of water? Well, lean tissue is anywhere from 20% all the way up to 75% water. So muscle specifically is more 75%, 70 to 75% water. So if it goes through muscle, it's gonna go blazingly fast, like really quick. But if it goes through fat, which is 10%, so again, lean tissue can be bone mass, it can be tendons, ligaments, uh, muscle mass, et cetera, et cetera. It's not just measuring just muscle. On the other hand, hand though, if it goes through fat mass, it's gonna go a lot slower because there's only about 10% water in that compartment, in that uh, tissue. So if you have more fat mass, then that means that you're that this electrical signal has to go through more of that slower substance, that slower tissue, as opposed to if you have a lot of muscle mass and very little fat mass, then it's gonna go faster. And that's how it's able to measure how much of one or how much of the other that you have, your body fat percentage based off of your lean body mass. So, that's how it works. Pretty cool, pretty neat. Definitely an interesting technique to figure out your body fat percentage. All right, that said, that is the video. Hopefully it was informative. I hope that you learned something from it. And if you did, then I would really appreciate if you subscribe to the channel. It does mean quite a bit to me when I see that subscription number increase. And like and share the video, if you will. Thanks. I hope that you have a great day. See ya.